Good morning and thank you for joining us in remembering the sacrifices made by those in law enforcement over the last year. I truly apologize that we can't be together in person for this occasion. COVID-19 will pass like all the other hardships that we have faced. From January the 1st of this year until this point, 72 law enforcement officials and two canines have made the ultimate sacrifice in service of their communities and their country. Unfortunately, Texas leads the list of states with the most law enforcement deaths with 16. The worst month for law enforcement was April with 32 deaths. The leading cause of law enforcement deaths was duty-related illnesses with 26, followed by gunfire with 18. Let us remember that each and every one of these people went to work leaving behind a husband or wife, a mother, or father, children, friends, and other people that love them. Their deaths are a tragedy to us, but to them, these deaths can leave holes that can never be filled. Luckily, we have a long list of heroes that have made the ultimate sacrifice. These fine folks are responding to family violence calls, serving high-risk warrants, responding to alarm calls, and chasing wanted fugitives. We know these individuals as Thad and GT and Scott and Arlie and Abel and Scott and Michael and Nathan. They are heroes to us all and will live forever in our hearts. We cling to memories that we have of them and hope to see them again. We have a connection to each and every one of them. They are forever our brothers in blue, no matter what color of the uniform or what the shoulder patch said. I constantly say that law enforcement officials are a rare bleed. I believe this because I see the determination to make the Permian Basin a better place. I see men and women continue to perform their duties in the face of great obstacles. It takes special people to run towards danger and to fight the evil that regretfully does exist in this world. I am honored to be able to walk amongst them every day and humbled to be able to call several of them friends. I pray that God blesses each and every one of you have a good day. Today is the day we honor those that have lost their life in the line of duty. Unfortunately, Odessa has lost some. Um, and this is an opportunity for us to say thank you. The Bible says, greater love is no man than he lays down his life for his friend or his brother. These officers were amazing people and their lives were taken much too soon. To the families that will see this, I just want to say we are sorry. We stand beside you, and we will always stand beside you. The memorials that we have at the police station are just an opportunity to remember. That, in my opinion, is sacred ground to where we can go and we can reflect on the heroes that we are lost. To everyone, please take today to remember the fallen heroes. Thank you. It's been uh, truly one of the great honors of my life to work with so many great uh, police officers uh, during this time. Unfortunately, I've also been district attorney when some of the most tragic days have ever happened in our county, uh, including the loss specifically of three police officers in the line of duty. Um, that day will stay with me for the rest of my life and I will always appreciate the sacrifice of those officers. Uh, I knew all three of them, two were personal friends of mine and I truly miss them every day. Uh, but because of their bravery and the bravery of others that day, uh, you know, we know that uh, people are out there uh, defending our community and that's what they did that day. Uh, their sacrifice uh, saved lives that day and every day that's what police officers do is they, they go out there and put their lives on the line uh, to save others. So we truly appreciate the work they do. Uh, and I will never forget uh, the, the sacrifice they make every day for themselves, their families, um, and, and the effort they put into, and we appreciate it. Officer Albert Ramirez Castaneda, Jr., Grand Prairie Police Department, end of watch, June 7th, 2019. Sergeant David Jones Fitzpatrick, the Colony Police Department, end of watch, June 10th, 2019. Corporal Jose Luis Speedy Esperquete, Jr., Mission Police Department, end of watch, June 20th, 2019.
2019. Deputy Carlos Aaron Ramirez, Kendo County Sheriff's Office, and of watch July 2nd, 2019. Deputy Jose Luis Blancarte, Kenny County Sheriff's Office, end of watch August 23rd, 2019. Trooper Moises Sanchez, Texas Department of Public Safety, end of watch August 24th, 2019. Deputy Sandeep Singh Dual, Harris County Sheriff's Office, end of watch September 27th, 2019. Deputy Matthew Ryan Jones, Falls County Sheriff's Office, end of watch October 11th, 2019. Officer Abigail Rose Arias, Freeport Police Department, end of watch November 5th, 2019. Sergeant Christopher Charles Lewis Brewster, Houston Police Department, end of watch December 7th, 2019. Sergeant Kayla Marie Sullivan, NASA Bay Police Department, end of watch December 10th, 2019. Canine Boulder, U.S. Border Patrol, end of watch, December 17th, 2019. Officer Jose Humberto Meza, Burnett Police Department, end of watch, December 20th, 2019. Deputy Brian Charles Fluger, San Jacinto County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, December 21st, 2019. Detective Clifton John Martinez, San Antonio Independent School District Police Department, end of watch, December 21st, 2019. Deputy William Christopher Dickerson, Panola County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, December 31st, 2019. Officer Nicholas Lee Reyna, Lubbock Police Department, end of watch, January 11th, 2020. Officer Alan Daniel McCollum, Corpus Christi Police Department, end of watch, January 31st, 2020. Deputy Richard Edward Witten, Liberty County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, February 3rd, 2020. Deputy Christopher Scott Corzelius, Travis County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, March 18th, 2020. Corrections Officer Amanda DeLeon, Texas Department of Criminal Justice, end of watch, March 20th, 2020. Sheriff Kirk Coker, Hutchinson County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, March 29th, 2020. Corrections Officer Kelvin Wilcher, Texas Department of Criminal Justice, end of watch, April 6th, 2020. Officer Justin Putnam, San Marcos Police Department, end of watch, April 18th, 2020. Corrections Officer Jonathan Keith Goodman, Texas Department of Criminal Justice, end of watch, April 21st, 2020. Chaplain Akbar Shabazz, Texas Department of Criminal Justice, end of watch, April 23rd, 2020. Corrections Officer Coy Kaufman Jr., Texas Department of Criminal Justice, end of watch, April 26th, 2020. Deputy John Andrew Roden, Bill Kenny Sheriff's Office, end of watch, April 26th, 2020. Corrections Officer James Coleman, Texas Department of Criminal Justice, end of watch, April 28th, 2020. Deputy Timothy De La Fuente, Bear County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, April 30th, 2020. Officer Jason Knox, Houston Police Department, End of watch, May 2nd, 2020. Sergeant Lionel Q. Martinez, Alamo College's Police Department. End of watch, May 5th, 2020. Corrections Officer Jesse Bolton, Texas Department of Criminal Justice. End of watch, May 8th, 2020. Corrections Officer Maria Mendez, Texas Department of Criminal Justice. End of watch, May 9th, 2020.
sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear. The hour I first believed When we've been there Ten thousand years Bright shining as the sun We've loved days to sing God's grace. Then when we'd first begun.